haptic feedback can help people who are unable to move their limbs to be able to control things from computer cursors to prosthetic limbs just by thought alone. So I like to frame it as imagine um, an ALS patient, there's this loss of physical agency that takes place where you are not capable of actually moving your limbs and so you don't have a good idea of where I guess your virtual limb is in space and can we use haptic technology to give you a better idea of where your virtual limb is in space. This thing that I'm putting on my head right now is a Surface EEG headset and basically what that means is that there are these various electrodes placed all over my head and uh, they're capable of measuring cortical activity and then you can actually take these signals and a decoding algorithm can then transform them into some sort of a command signal that you can use to command a peripheral device such as a cursor or a uh, robotic limb for instance. As I am controlling the cursor on the screen I would get skin stretch feedback on my fingertip that's mapped to either the position of that cursor in space or the velocity at which it's moving. So this tactor here uh, basically comes into contact with your finger pad and it provides tangential forces due to this uh, its large density of mechanoreceptors. They're really uh, tuned to this kind of haptic stimulus. And so you can actually display a direction and a magnitude of force on the fingertip. And this is kind of a cue, you know, as to, hey, the position of your cursor is up towards the right of the screen and you will actually feel then a force that's kind of pushing your finger up to the right of the screen. And so without them actually being able to move their finger, we can kind of play back what they would feel if they were able to do so. And we're hoping that that gives them, uh, I guess, more intuitive information as to how they're controlling this virtual device.